if we reduce it right down to the, the most basic, basic sense, obesity is caused by uh, an imbalance between your energy intake and your energy output. So if you're taking in more energy than you're expending, mm -hmm. so if you're eating more than you are sort of like, you know, exercising or walking sort of off or using essentially, if you're, if you're eating more energy than you're using, then that energy is going to be stored and your body storage system for energy is fat, right? So that's that's why sort of um, eating more than you use results in in sort of weight gain. Mm -hmm. According to the World Health Organization, again, globally there has been an increased intake in energy dense foods that are high in fat and sugars and an increase in physical inactivity due to increasingly sedentary nature of many forms of work, changing modes of transportation and increasing urbanization. So when I say it the most basic sense, obesity is caused by, you know, eating more than you're you're sort of you're using. That's not to say that if you see someone that's obese, that you can be like, ah yes. You have chosen to eat more and therefore you are, there are many other sort of factors at play. Um, you know, like genetics, medications, health, disability, wealth, all of these sorts of things, right? Because wealth can affect your access to certain foods, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and genetics can influence, you know, your appetite and what kind of foods you uh, gravitate towards and all of the, and so many other things. Medications can impact you, you know, can impact you um, and cause you to gain weight or lose weight or, uh, you know, disability can also be a, a, like, you know, can affect it in terms of like, it can affect your level of activity. It can affect your appetite, your diet, all of these sorts of things, right? So there are so many factors at play, but it is still an indisputable fact and like quite literally a law of thermodynamics that you cannot gain weight without consuming more energy than you exert. And I feel that's very important to point out because that is something that people kind of, they, they kind of overlook or don't talk about. And this isn't to say that, you know, like, if you are like, and I want to be very clear here, I'm going to have to say this up top, being overweight or obese or fat or any of these things, it's, it doesn't reflect on you as a person at all. It doesn't reflect on you and your choices. That's that's like silly, like fat phobic stuff, obviously. What I'm saying here is not, it is the individual's like choice to eat more or the individual's choice to have more energy, consume more energy than they expend that, that causes their obesity. What I'm saying is that there are all these other factors but if we're being like sort of very specific about the mechanism that causes this, it is literally just more energy in than out. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Are, are there not any ways of gaining weight whereby, for example, um, your body is retaining more water, for example? Yeah, or... but you wouldn't be getting fat. Right. Okay. You can only, you, yeah, yeah. You think about it this way. Your body can only retain so much water. Like yeah. obviously, this yeah. is why we're so we talk about weight. I don't know. I don't know the different types of fat and how fat binds and all those kind of things. I, <laughs> I don't know it. I'm asking yeah. this question. No, no, very so no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So th th it's a great question, and this is this is the this is the thing here. We talk about weight, and generally, when we talk about weight, we mean fat because the most common way for someone to have excess, like sort of, I mean, to weigh more is to have excess fat on their body, right? Yeah. Um, and way more in comparison to someone of the same sort of height as them, right? Or build or whatever. So yeah, you, you can't, you can't gain weight uh, without consuming more energy than you expend. Like, right. it's, like think about, like it is physically, physically impossible to make fat if you do not have excess energy because where is the fat coming from? Do you know what I mean? Like, like, because fat is an energy store. So yeah. where is the energy coming yeah. from? You mm -hmm. can't, your weight fluctuates on the daily for so many different reasons, because obviously there's more than just fat in your body. You've got bones, you've got muscle, there is water in your body. And so water weight can change how your face looks. Like yeah. I weigh myself in the morning for the gym um, before I've eaten for the very specific reason that it is the most accurate I can be to have a clear picture of trends. Yeah. Because otherwise, if I don't, I'm like, okay, well, how much water have I drank? How much water am I retaining? And like, my my weight will change based on drinking alcohol because it uh, messes with your water retention. It changes how much it changes how much you weigh based on water retention, right? Yeah. And there's there's all of these different factors. Like I can gain muscle, I can lose muscle. But what I'm saying here is that it is impossible to have excess fat without having an excess of energy intake, right? Yeah, of course. In the sense, I, I, I guess this comes from two things. Firstly me not understanding how fat is built that's mm. fine like i don't because no, you, no, yeah. you don't you don't for example i know you don't get fat necessarily from i mean get fat on your body from just from eating fat in foods like you get it from eating sugar in foods and mm. carbohydrates in foods and all those kind of things as well mm. which are turned into fat and proteins and, and, the, yeah. and also water binding with those things in some process i can't remember the details um 
but also when when you're saying um you obviously you can't gain fat without uh, eating excess calories mm-hmm. but that I, I i trust that you know the difference between that and you can't gain weight without eating oh, yeah, excess yeah, yeah. calories mm-hmm. i trust you know what the difference is yeah. but i think that most no, people no, absolutely will, and no. myself included don't know the difference no yeah. thank you very much for pointing that out. absolutely yeah when i this is this is the difficulty with um the way that we talk about things right because we use weight as a euphemism for fat yeah. and it's so ingrained yes. that even this where i'm very particular about the words that i choose I'll, my brain will my brain will pull out the word weight and use it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I won't even I won't even notice. And it's, bear in mind, I am so particular about the way that I word things on this podcast. Yes. So often. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Like you I mean, you technically I suppose you could technically gain weight in other ways without eating an excess of energy, like, you know, water weight and stuff like that. But we're talking about like sort of um, consistent, um, sustained, you know, sustained like yeah. ex- excess weight. Like you, you couldn't. I don't. You couldn't. You couldn't raise your water weight so much that you verge into obesity. You know, from a, <laughs> from a healthy weight. <laughs> okay. Point, right? Yeah, sure. But the flip side of that as well, right, is that you literally cannot lose weight without being in. You cannot lose fat. Sorry, yeah. without being in an energy deficit. Like sort of deficit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, you can gain protein, you can gain muscle without being in an energy surplus, and you can mm. gain muscle whilst being in an energy deficit, because muscle is made out of protein, right? So all you need to do is eat a ton of protein. Like, I eat a ton of protein yeah. to gain muscle and to sustain muscle, right? So, you know, you gotta, you gotta, it's, it's, I guess it's difficult if you've got sort of no conception of any of these things, but your body is made out of a lot of different parts, and we're going to simplify it down here, right? Um, fat does not come from fat in foods. Yes. Fat in your body, adipose tissue, all of that stuff, that comes from energy. And you get energy from, like, lots of different food groups. You get energy from uh, carbohydrates, you know, which is sugars and, and, and starches and that sort of stuff. You get energy from proteins. You get energy from fats. The reason that people point out fats as being, like, you know, oh, this will make you this will make you gain fat is because fats just have a, a ton of, like, they have a ton of energy in them. Yeah. Like, they're they are very energy dense. Insane. They're more energy dense than, um, than carbohydrates. And what I mean by that is that if you have the same sort of amount of fat uh, as you do carbohydrate, uh, as you do carbohydrate, like, like the same weight, weight yeah. you will have more energy in the fat. And that's why fat is a great energy store, because, you know, um, it's, it's, it, it's, it's got a high energy density, right? So you can store a lot of energy with, l- like, less mass, essentially, right? That's, that's why that's that's why your body stores uh uh sort of that's probably one of the reasons that your body stores excess energy as mm. fat rather than you know storing it as uh, this is Bread. long-term storage rather than storing it as a sort of carbohydrate yeah you know um and this is again as i said long-term storage yes as bread right <laughs> there yeah. you go you have a so, little bread machine in your <laughs> coming <laughs> So again, it's not to say that obesity is caused by people choosing to eat too much. That'd be like saying that addiction is caused by people choosing to do drugs too much. It's just like a gross <laughs> oversimplification, right? Like uh, that's not what I'm saying. I just I need to be clear about many uh, things uh, here. I did drugs too much. Because oh. like, no other factors were involved. I feel like when it comes to body positivity and um, sort of anti fat phobia, there are lots. There, there's uh, there's a lot of trepidation about talking about certain things because there's misinformation out there and all that sort of stuff. And I think it is important to quite explicitly say right that yes you cannot gain you cannot be a certain weight without um you cannot like grow to a certain weight weight without excess energy input right that's Mm -hmm. just not possible like thermodynamically not possible you'd be breaking the laws of physics you'd win a nobel prize however that also doesn't mean that people choose to be obese but also that doesn't mean none of this means that being obese is like morally bad or anything. Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't mean you're a, a bad person or you've made bad choices. Like, like that's why I'm kind of relating it to addiction. It's something that can be unhealthy for you. Definitely. Mm-hmm. It's something that could be like, like out of your control, but it also isn't something that makes that devalues you as a human person. Mm-hmm. Right. And it also doesn't mean that making someone feel bad about that is an effective way of making them not bad yeah yeah absolutely i, I, I would agree that's fair? i think i think you've made a very i think you've made a very sound point <laughs> no i have no idea i agree, I agree. <laughs>